what's up here dr bc and in this video episode i will show you the unboxing and quick review of one plus one the fastest android kitkat smartphone on the planet this is my one plus one recently purchased at a price of thirty thousand that is equivalent to 485 us dollar now in this video episode i will show you the unboxing and the quick review of this one plus one now as you can see that this device i had received recently from china and you can see that this is open for custom verification now in this episode i will try to reopen this box now you can see that there is a small wrapping plastic now take out that wrapping plastic and there is a small pull tag to open now you can see that this actually is torn up to that level you have to torn this like that now i'm not doing that on this box because i want to preserve this box now here you can see that the imei tag and that is a 64 variant uh, that is a white in color model is a0001 and that is td lta band again you can see that it support td lta band and let's see whether this support indian frequency band or not let's open that box and here you can see that there are three things let's take all of them and keep this box aside okay and what is that okay that is a supporting form let's put this box aside now here you can see that uh, that i think is a travel adapter let's try to open that uh, uh, that is a travel adapter i am very impressed with the packing itself that is a very nice packing very premium packing let's see the rating of this travel adapter okay you can see that input is from 100 to 240 volt at 50 to 60 hertz at 0.3 ampere and output at 5 volt at 2 ampere okay that is a very portable charger let's keep this aside and let's see the main unit itself let's take out this unit from this wrapping plastic now there is a tag here to take out the device itself okay very nice packing and here on this back you can see that this is one plus one a zero zero one it has 5.5 inch full hd display it support gsm band 850 900 1800 and 1900 megahertz that is quad band td scdma at 1880 and 1920 2010 and 2025 megahertz wcdma that is at 850 900 and 1900 and 2100 megahertz td lte that is 1880 1920 2300 2400 2570 2620 and you can see that this td lte band 2300 is supported by airtel 4g and in future reliance will also work on this band so this unit definitely work in india you can see that lte fdd band that is at 1800 and 2600 so you can see that in future this device can also support this fdd band that is at 1800 currently airtel and reliance having the license for this band now the dimension is 152.9 millimeter long 75.9 millimeter wide and less than 9 millimeter thick it weights around 160 gram and a couple of things and here is the im8 sticker and the date of manufacturing 25th june 2015 and uh, nothing keep this aside and let's see the main box very very nice packing uh, very impressive now let's uh, how to take out okay that is like that and you have to pull this sticker to take out this main unit that is very premium let's keep this aside we will come to this later on now how to take out that okay like that and here you can see that that is a sim ejecting tool wow very nice this is kept inside this key ring so it is very easy to take this sim ejecting tool with you that is the usb data syncing and charging cable okay that goes at here and that's to the phone itself 
very nice here this comes with this wrapping rubber and the length is around 4 feet the cable is very premium let's keep this aside and finally you can get okay that is the i think that is a user guide all is in chinese okay let's keep all of this stuff aside and let's see the device itself there is a wrapping plastic let's peel off it and keep this aside as you can see that device is very very big and it has LTPS LCD capacitive screen now that is of 5.5 inch in size and it is of full HD now let's see the hardware layout of this phone uh, on this side you can see that that is a power on off button and on the top that is 3.5 millimeter headphone socket uh, that is a secondary microphone for noise cancellation and on this side that pinhole is for ejecting sim and uh, that is a main sim tray and that is volume rocker volume down and volume up on the bottom you will see a dual speakers and the main microphone that is usb data syncing and charging port that is usb 2.0 and on the back you can see that is again a secondary microphone for noise cancellation that is 13 megapixel rear camera with two led flash one plus one logo couple of certificates and on the front that is a 5 megapixel front facing camera proximity sensors and ambient sensor the main receiver speaker and touch capacitive buttons uh, that is menu home and back button if you see the design the design is very premium this white unit seems slippery in hand the dead that uh, this baby white unit is sometimes slippery in hand but thanks to this 9 millimeter thin profile this phone feels very premium in hand now let's turn on the device press and hold this power button and here you can see this one plus one logo definitely this will take time because this is a first boot okay this is booted up okay i think that red os is preloaded let's see got it and about phone and here you can see that the color os is installed and the android version is 4.3 cpu quad core 2.5 gigahertz ram 3 gb rom 50.01 gb free and total 64 so you can see that this device comes with red os that is a color os the android version is 4.3 so as usual i am expecting this cyanogen 11 on this device let's that is not a big problem i will install the cyanogen 11 on this device that is very easy definitely this will make this device more powerful as compared to color os now if you compare this device with s5 let's take out this cover if you see both of these devices feels very thin the design of the both of the devices are quite good but you will definitely feel this one plus one is beating this s5 in terms of look and design that is a not a big problem as you can see that the touch response is very good you will hardly feel any lag on this device and there is some pre-installed application but I, as i already said that this is a red os so this comes with some chinese application also like that i doesn't know what is that for but you can feel that the touch response of this device is very good now in final i will tell you the whole specification of this phone if this phone has ltps display that is of 5.5 inch which is of 401 ppi it has 10 finger touch i will show you that in my next video it has Corning Gorilla Glass 3 that is toughest glass available in the planet it comes in two variant one is 16 GB and another is 64 GB and both of this unit has 3 GB RAM the maximum download speed in HSDPA is 42 Mbps and upload 5.8 Mbps it has LTE category 4 
that you can get up to 150 mbps download and 50 mbps upload and if you see the camera the back camera is of 13 megapixel which can support up to 4k video recording and the front camera is of 5 megapixel it has qualcomm 2.5 gigahertz quad core processor that is a fastest processor till now on the planet so i am saying that this is the fastest mobile on the planet if you see the quadrant standard on this device this comes in the top so i am saying that this is the fastest mobile now in terms of price and the specification definitely this will beat this s5 m8 and g2 and with this lte support for indian bands very soon this device will gain popularity in india so this one plus one is a very good device to buy at this time and definitely this device will work with all of the 4g network available in india now this completed this unboxing and quick review of this one plus one if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel the subscription link is shown on your screen and also don't forget to share this video with your friend for more videos on this phone like the performance gaming and full review keep watching bcd tech thank you and have a nice day bye bye